having a partner help you navigate those steps, having a partner know what questions to ask you, right? I, I had a, a, a buddy of mine running a Magento One store, right? A fairly large store uh, in terms of catalog, um, but his, his developer had disappeared, right? So he had no developer support, no agency support, and uh, a guy walks in the door into his retail store. He has retail and he has, you know, online store. A guy walks into his store and says, uh, I can help you get to Shopify, right? And so my buddy calls me and says, hey, this dude came in and he said, uh, I could go to Shopify. And I said, really? That's interesting. Did he tell you any of the issues related to that? No. What issue? He just told me he could do it, fixed them out, he'd get it done, we'd be live, we'd be making way more money. And I said, he walked into your tobacco cigar lounge, right? Yes. Did he mention that Shopify didn't want to be in that space? Did he mention that you, my friend who runs this cigar lounge, the, the third largest lounge in the country, in the world, did he mention that you couldn't use your own payment processor, which by the way, he needs to use authorized.net because of the tobacco products he sells. Did he mention that you couldn't use Shopify's payment plan, that you'd have to use your own, which Shopify would charge you percentage points on? He's like, no. I said, do me a favor, go to Shopify, scroll to the bottom, look for the little print, read everything in the little print, and then tell me if you wanna sign up with a guy like that. And he was like, uh, no, no, oh, I see what you're, oh, I just, oh, no, I can't. You go, right. It doesn't really matter what the guy who knocks on the door, who's just selling Shopify door to door and hoping it works. Every merchant we talk to needs a partner, an agency who is skilled in the art, who has experience, who's done this over and over again, who's not going to run out the door 10 seconds later, who can help come alongside and support them, whatever decision they make, right? And that's where folks like Kenzie M are so powerful because you have the experience to say, Okay, here's what we do to move to Magento 2. Here's what we do with big commerce. Here's what we would suggest when you're hosted on something like Nexus and using a product like Safe Harbor. Let me talk a little bit about the partner um, that you select as well, because, you know, as, as Chris was talking, the partner you select is critical to a successful migration or to any successful deployment of a software platform. Um, a platform's a platform, and, you know, whatever the platform is you select, um, it is critically important that your partner understands how to deploy that platform because how the platform I've seen great software in failed implementations. I've seen the same software in very successful implementations. And the difference is how the software is implemented. You know, the experience that your partner has um, is going to make all the difference in terms of the success or failure of your software deployment. Um, the partner has to understand how you're using the software to support your business, right? There have to be discussions around the solution and uh, and how you're gonna run the business using that solution, how you want customers to interact with your organization. Um, it's not just about the technology, it's about the process and the people, it's about the user experience. And, um, you know, you, you can take the greatest software platform in the world, and if it's not implemented correctly, if it's not implemented for your business, you know, Chris referenced the tobacco business. If it's not, you know, there are nuances to that business. There are unique aspects to that business, and those have to be accounted for. Um, you know, selling tobacco products is very different than selling auto parts or very different than selling you know, you name it. I mean, every every client that we work with, has, there's unique aspects to the industry that they're serving. Um, um, so those things have to be considered. And an experienced partner um, is 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 the is the partner that's going to align the software and the implementation of the software to support your business. Basically, the only thing you can take from Magento 1 to Magento 2 is the information, like the customer information, the product information, that kind of stuff. But the rest, call it a theme, call it an integration, call it an extension, call it a new piece of code. That kind of stuff, you have to call it all over again. So we are talking about, yeah, just like we said, 150 to 100K for a complete project, and you definitely need a partner, you definitely need developers, DevOps. This is a team effort and it's not something you can do by yourself and that's something merchants should really understand. We keep seeing people that's trying to run a store just like 
the one man store and it, it doesn't work like when you use magento you need you need quite a few resources and that includes developers sys admins people running the actual store it's this is not the same as running a mom and pop store with like 10 SKUs, just like we did with Magento One. And that's probably the biggest difference, the level of effort you need to make when it comes to running Magento Two. What you need to do very specifically and very clearly is these three things. Number one, sign up for Safe Harbor, right? If you're not hosted at Nexus, give us a call. We'll bring you over but get yourself to a place where you can be safe after June 1st because malicious attacks will happen, security issues will happen, and you wanna be protected. Safe Harbor is number one. Number two, find an agency like we just talked about here, and Kenzie is a perfect one, find an agency who can help you evaluate your options, right? And the third is get started on that next step, right? Whatever it is, whether you're going you know, off to another platform or whether you're going to Magento 2, these guys can help you get there. And the and the the program they just described in terms of financing part of it, so you have a long-term relationship, long-term support is perfect. What you want to do is get on Safe Harbor, sign up with a partner, and start working with them to get the next evolution of your site in play. Because you don't want to sit in Safe Harbor forever, right? You want to be able to migrate to the next, whatever is next, get started on the next chapter of your store so that you can keep driving all that value. Here's what we know at the end of the day. Magento One stores are slower and speed today is more important than ever. If a person, if, if a person sees that your store takes more than two and a half seconds to load, if they move between pages and it takes more than two and a half seconds, they leave. And if they leave, you don't close the deal. So if you want to drive revenue, what you need to do is work with an agency to help you get to the latest, the fastest, the best performing store you can afford so that your customers can buy from you. At the end of the day, all this is focused on revenue generation. We want you to win. In order to get you to win, right, get yourself on Safe Harbor, get a partner on Kenzium, get yourself going on to the next chapter of your store. Thank you.